May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Uh, This one is another outtake from Zen is right now. So uh, here's another uh, outtake from Zen is right now. Uh, This one's from... uh, Bob Watkins. We were working on that wall below the dining room deck, and a couple of guys were talking about something walking by on the bridge, and one of them said, Don't make any waves. Don't make any waves. Suzuki Roshi said, What does that mean? And I said, Don't make more out of it than it is. Don't excite the situation. Let it be. And he went, Oh, and went ahead working. And that evening, he used that phrase in lecture. (laughs) Uh, You know, uh, Suzuki liked to pick up language from us. Uh, One, I think, that I attributed to him in uh, Crooked Cucumber, boy, you know, was just a quote from him, and he did say it. But it didn't originate with him, was uh, first thought, best thought. and some people attribute it to uh, Trungpa. Actually, uh, people attribute it to Allen Ginsberg. But I think Allen Ginsberg said he got it from Trungpa. Joking with Trungpa. Uh, but I've got a thing on it on cute.com. Now, bring it back to William Blake, uh, who said, in art, first thought, best thought, in... Uh, other matters, um, and something, something like, you know, better to think about it some more or something. I can't remember. But, um, mm, uh, you know, there was just some research. I and mean, where would this be? Psychology, sociology. There was some research comparing, I guess, psychology. Uh, the um, uh, comparing people who were decisive with those who, um, you know, him to nods and hesitate and thought about things. And the decisive people did not come out on top. They tied. And uh, hmm, that's interesting, huh? Uh, Because we tend to think this, um, we tend to put a high value on decisiveness and trust decisive people. Um, but it's not necessarily true. I mean, Suzuki was really into, you know, uh, in a sense, not preparing, just walking up to that fork in the road and just knowing which way to go. Just go the way your your heart tells you, that sort of thing, right? And I think there's um, truth in that, would we say, or that can be, I mean, boy, I've used that sort of thing a lot in my life. It can go either way. Can go either. It's really hard to make absolute rules about what works and what reality is and, you know, what's the best way to do things. You know, there might be um, a revered teacher like Suzuki or Trungpa that says something, and you go, oh, yes. But not necessarily true. Uh, and, and we can't just think something's true because... Somebody we respect said it. Uh, we, you know, you can't think anybody is is uh, is saying the absolute truth. Buddha said, "Don't take my word for it." In so many words, you know, test it for yourself. But anyway, now I went on about that a while. That's not even one of the outtakes. <laughs> uh, uh, so. But don't make any waves. What does that mean? Mm, don't make more of it than it is. Don't excite the situation. Let it be. Oh, and that evening he used that praise in a lecture. This has been 
a Cuke Audio mini podcast. I'm DC Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives, coming to you from Sleepy Sonor with Dog at Bandita, Feline to Cheetah, and Dear Lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening. <laughs>